<coughs> all right, that'll, that'll, that's the last time I'm doing that, all right? I'm going to try to hold it in for the rest of the video. Okay, I'm still trying to figure out why the fuck I'm doing that. And uh, for, for the last guy who said stop snorting, I did read your comment. And uh, uh, I really can't help that. It's, if I don't do it, I'll have like a panic attack that then makes me think I can't breathe. Well, at least that's what it feels like, at least. I don't know if that's what it actually is, but I gotta go to the doctor to figure out what the f to do about it. Alright, so, this is not the actual halter for this gun, so... Actually, hold up, I don't think that's a very good camera angle. Hold on. Hold on a second. Okay, let's see what I can do about that real quick. A second. Oh, that'll work over here. Hold on. Let me grab this. This box. If you don't have a tripod, grab a box. Grab your local box. Get rid of that. Here we go. Alright, so, today we're going to be doing the new police uniform, and uh, that, we're just going to be showing off what it's going to be look like. Alright, so, as you can tell, this is the, the gun I used in my last movie, a blank firing gun. Oh, and I'm missing the clip. Here it is, right here. It is a blank firing gun 9mm. It's a blank gun. Look down the barrel right there and it proves it. It acts just like a real gun, but shoots like blank bullets. I prefer BB guns because I think they they are, are a lot more reliable. So we're gonna start off with my ammo pouches. You know, I only got well, I only have one clip in it, but that's for a BB gun Daisy, uh, for three three twenty, I think Daisy three twenty. Yeah. Then we got my radio holster, which with my radio, and I yes, I fixed it because if you saw in my very first movie that I just did. Like, uh, two weeks ago, it was the first one that came back, was the, um, the, uh, what did we title it? What did I title it? Oh, yeah, Arrested for Possession of Stolen Weapons. That one, uh, as you can see, it, it, I did, it did, I, when you, when I ran, you could see my radio holster for a second, so you could see that there was a bunch of yarn on it, so what I did was I took some rubber bands and put that around it, and it works a lot much better now. Radio itself works. And, uh, what else? Right, yeah, and then we got the rappel mic. So, then we got my badge here. This is a full metal badge. We got the police shirt. We, all this stuff can be found at Uncle Sam's Nazi Surplus. But if you're planning on buying a holster or a belt there, don't. Buy it on Amazon. Because those, they're, they have outrageous prices for those out there. 200 bucks for a fucking duty belt that I got on Amazon for 15 bucks. When, with the holster that you can literally get for $32 on Amazon for a Glock or a Beretta. <laughs> they wanted 120 for it. Fucking outrageous. The leg holsters there are cheaper than the in plastic holster. I'd rather have one of these because it looks a lot more official. And yeah, I have a Glock 19 and a Beretta holster. It's not all the way in there, but it'll do the job when you're running. Now, in the last movie you saw, yes, I had the Beretta in there because... I wanted it to look good for the movie. And I'm going next uh in the next two weeks I'm gonna get get the the Glock holster for it and it's gonna be made by Quandly. I don't know the rest of the title for it though. Alright, and uh what else have I not shown yet? Alright, yeah, this this holster right here we have my uh where are they? Smith and Wessons. My Smith and Wessons N-100. Very good, highly recommend. High, can be found on Amazon. And what else do we have here? We have... Oh yeah, my Viper Techs. I have Viper Tech uh, Hinged. You see me using these in the challenges I do a lot. These need to be oiled up or something, at least. Because these don't sound okay. Alright, and... They also have double locking. I will show you where the double locking is on all of these. But then I just picked this new handcuff holster up right here, this one, because I needed. I have three sets of cuffs, right? 
like, I don't like space on my duty belt, all right? I want it all used up. And uh, right here we have my HWC stainless steels. These I re just now repaired, as you can see. I had to use bolt cutters to get it off my Luger. I had it on a Luger to keep somebody away from it. So I pulled it, pulled it open with some in, uh, bolt cutters and it worked. And I just hit it with a hammer to make it work for proper again. So now... And that's the side with the cut piece on it. Works perfectly fine. And these are antique. I bought these at an antique shop, Vintage Antiques in Kentucky. So yeah, I am a little bit pissed off that that happened, but that's because I lost the key. And no, I couldn't wait for the for, to buy a new key because I needed that gun for a fucking movie. I only have three pistols. I think. Yeah, three or four pistols. Also, wait, 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 wait. Do I still have this revolver in here? Yeah, I do have the revolver in here. Hold on. Yeah, I got this revolver right here. I just need to find... I had. I was fixing it a lot while ago, so I had to take it apart. So, what I... I just gotta... I, I have the little pieces for it around here somewhere. I just don't know where exactly. They were around here somewhere, but I'll find them soon. And then this the revolver will probably be in here for being a video soon. I mean, this is a really cool revolver. It's made by Crossman. Technically, all it needs is some new shells and a CO2 cartridge and a little thing to turn the CO2 in it. And then it's all good to go. So yeah, then we got that revolver. What else do we have on my belt? Um, oh yeah, then we got my gun. Just push that down so it comes out easier. We got my Glock 19. I had repaired it with super glue. And I was trying to make a holster out of you here. Let me sh I try to copy Officer JJ. Uh, shout out to you, Officer JJ, for watching this. Um, you, um, the holster, it does work. It's just, I tried using his phone you know, his, like, uh, he told me to use, a. Uh, he told me to use one of these, you know, like, one of those, uh, things that you'll find on an outer box or something like that. For an outer box, uh, phone jacky thing. But what I think I'm gonna do is, actually, hold on. Wait a minute. Uh, I'm not gonna put it on my belt, but... You could, technically, if you're real easy and good with it, actually, I don't know. You, you could probably finesse that onto a belt, but this is the one I made, but it didn't turn out that well. But it's still, it still was fun making it. And I'll just, just for the point of the video, I'll fire the gun. Oh, hold up. That didn't sound cruel. Let me, let me just get a new CO2 in it. That was weak. That was fucking weak. That was just plain weak. Alright, get the tool for it. Release it. Yep, that was weak. I fire these a lot in the movies. Or at least I used to. I'm trying to make them as legit as possible now. And my the next police movie... Uh, the next police movie is not going to be until around Thanksgiving. Because that's when my brother comes back and he's the only one who really makes the movies with me anymore. Because the other people that used to come over, they don't come over that much no more. So there we go, we got our CO2 in it. Hopefully, we check the CO2. Yeah, I don't hear it leaking now. So, I have lots of holsters. This is actually my self defense weapon, actually. I conceal it most of the time when I'm out somewhere, but I don't really leave the house anymore. So here we go, we're going to fire it for the sake of the video. We're just going to dry fire it. Oh, that was big. Alright, now we're going to do both hands. Alright, now one hand.
mag dump it. Yeah, it's still pretty powerful. Hold on. Alright, there we go. That's going to be it for the shooting part. Alright, just slap it back in that holster even though it doesn't go in here. What else we got here? Oh, yeah, this gun right here. This was used in one of the newest police movies, uh, Arrested for Possession of Stolen Weapons. Alright, so, <laughs> it's a, uh, this used to be an old Crossman, but before Crossman changed their name. If you didn't know, a crossman used to be called Marksman. Plains Men. Because <coughs> I can tell that's the fucking crossman logo. Yeah, that's the crossman logo. I'm looking at my CO2 crossman, so yeah, that's the crossman logo. Let me show it to you. Right there, on the, right here, that's the crossman logo. Alright, there, that's the crossman logo. What else we got here? Um, where's my AR? Oh, here's the AR. Alright, we got the AR that was used in one of the newest police movies. It was, um, Escape Convict, um, Shot Dead. And, uh, that one also was starring me and my brother. Uh, let's see here. What else we got here? I'm trying to make this video interesting. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I also have bought a new handcuff key, so now we are going to be using the handcuffs in the movies again. I got this gun that I really should clean. It's a Crossman PSM-45. Yeah, PSM-45, yeah. And what else we got in here? I'm not going to show that other weapon in, over there because uh, too many people that I don't want to know that are watching my videos or at, or at something I don't want to talk about, I don't want them to know what's over there in that corner, so we're not going to go into detail on that. But just let's say it's something I can't talk about. Alright, whatever, I'll just tell you. It's a... It is a... Oh my god. Why do I not say it? I don't want to say it because it's fucking embarrassing. It's fuzzy cuffs for me and my girlfriend, alright? And yeah, I'm a kinky one. That is so fucking embarrassing. Uh, what else do I got here to show? Uh, oh, yeah, we could use this in the movie. Yeah. Just put some foam around these bitches. Yeah, real nunchucks made out of fucking uh, chain, chain links, and uh, some wood, and some electrical tape. Hold up, go like this. Ow. What the fuck? Oh, fuck my radio turn off. Yep. Yeah, we got those, and uh, what else we got in here? I think that's pretty much it. <coughs> We're not gonna be using that fucking over there. It's a. Uh, it's actually that thing over there is a fucking. The uh, bear, uh, fucking uh. Rifle, it's an old Henry, but it's not a real one, it's a fucking BB version. And the badge you saw in the last police movie that I'm always wearing is the CSI badge, but the pin on it broke, so I tried to replace it with a bobbit pin, and that didn't work that much. So, we're just gonna go ahead, that's why I went and bought a new badge. As you can hear, as you can see, I'm really trying to hold that snort in. Alright, and this is the new badge right here. And other than that, we got a police hat and that's about it. So, I'm looking one last time around my room, make sure we ain't missed nothing. Oh, oh 
Oh, yes, yes. Okay, I did miss something. Okay. The body armor. Okay. So I did just have to repair this thing. So, this may not be used in the movies no more. If it does, it's going to need a lot of work to it because it barely fits me anymore. I'm going to have to spray paint over this stuff because this is where the police pack was. So spray paint that black and then what else do I got to do to it? Oh yeah, this is going to be turned into real body armor. Real body armor. It's going to stop with 9mm to a rifle round. We just need oxygen for the torch. And we're going to, we got the cutouts and everything because they gave you like foam cutouts. So we're going to trace those and make them all real. Is there anything for this side right here? Nope, nope, nothing for there. Wait a minute, is there an easy way to put this fucking body armor on? Like an easier way? Yeah, there's an easier way. I just gotta untie these motherfuckers. Alright, hold on a second. Let me untie this real quick. Here we go, untied that one. Here we go, untie this guy. Oh, what a surprise, this guy's tied back here as well. Here we go. Untie him. Here we go. Now it's untied. There we go. Now, I guess all I gotta do is this. Oh, yeah, that works perfect. Oh, I didn't even know I could do that. And all this time, I've just been going... Rawr, rawr, rawr. All right, well, I guess... I guess, uh, we'll put it over. All right, here we go. How does that look? Do I look good? Alright, so we're just gonna bop. Bop and bop. Wait, hold on. Bop. How do I look? Do I look good? Other than this? Hold on, let me take that up so I look and get it. But how do I look? Do I look good? Actually. doesn't look bad. I wouldn't say it looks bad, but this is definitely the way it's going to have to be put on from now on because uh, the super glue up here, if I keep on sliding it on like that, it's not going to hold. So, uh, we, all right, we might, we might keep the body armor, but it might, it'll, uh, I don't know. We might not, I don't know. Cause this body armor makes me sweat the fuck out, bro. Like for real. But it also looked cool as hell. And I think people like the body armor, so if you guys want me to keep the body armor on, hit that like button and comment down below. Cause that's the only way I'm gonna keep it. If y'all want it, I'll keep it. But if y'all don't, it's going into real body armor territory. And then we gonna wear it wherever we go. We just gonna spray paint over the police patch, cause you know we can't have that. Cause then that's technically a person in an officer. No offense to all the officers out there. So, just to keep those officers happy, I'm going to break in over there. Alright, so. Yep. Yeah. That's basically it. What the fuck are all these over here? I'm, I'm really... Oh, oh, let me end that video real quick.